President, please be seated. The court is back in session. The chamber now gives the floor to the co-prosecutor to resume the questioning. But first, I would like to know from the defense counsel for Mr. Kisampon how much time you need to question this witness. Would you clarify the time issue for the court, please? Mr. President, a priori, for the time being, I would need the entire session envisaged for the defense. If my colleague of the Nunchia team wants to use the minutes allotted to him, I think I will need all the time allotted to me by the chamber. Si on le finit plus tôt, je finis plus tôt en fonction des questions qui seront posées, mais je ne sera pas moins. Si je termine plus tôt, je le ferai, mais ça dépendra des questions qui seront posées à la personne. Bah, j'ai encore le droit de garder le temps. Président, le président. The floor is now given to the co-prosecutor. Je vous laisse la parole, le co-procureur. And let me remind. Co-prosecutors and legal lawyers, that please use the ten or twenty minutes at most during the time that you question this witness. Rather, please reserve twenty minutes for the defense counsel for Mr. Kilson Pond. President, uh, and the chamber now uh, grant you five more minutes uh, to you in addition to the time lost this morning. And I would like to remind and suggest that uh, you too should reserve uh, 20 minutes at most uh, for the defense counsel for Mr. Q. Sompon. For Nunji rather to uh, put questions. It is not uh, a good image to re-invite the witness uh, to come Car, back uh, again next vu, time, uh, since uh, there is need revenir. to coordinate uh, uh, the transportation of Car the witness, and the witness is living far away from the, the court. Et le vit très loin du I, I, just so I'm clear, the translation was, was a little difficult. You, you want clair, us to, to finish 15, uh, 15 Donc, minutes uh, before the end of this session? 15 minutes is, is that correct? Cette session. Ai bien compris? Not, uh, uh, Le president. president, the time left up for you and lead co-lawyers uh, is to use as much as you can. However, you have to reserve about 20 minutes uh, for the defense team, for Mr. Nguyen-Chi, for this session. I uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we were talking about the issue of um, whether there were arrests uh, ordered uh, by de la possibilité de demander s'il y avait eu des ordres d'arrestation donnés par Tom Mock. J'allais lire un extrait de votre procès verbal d'audition, document E3-94-87, réponse 863-865. C'est ce que vous avez dit. Question. Qui a donné l'ordre de les arrêter ou qui les a accusés d'être des prisonniers de crimes légers ou des prisonniers de crimes graves Réponse. Tamok. La fin. Question. Qui recevait les ordres directement de Tamok Réponse. Tamok donnait l'ordre par le truchement du district, puis la commune et ensuite le village. Question. How did Tamok determine if a person was a serious crime prisoner? How did Tamok know the name of the person committed the crime? How did Tamok know the name of the person committed the crime? How did Tamok know the name of the person committed the crime? How did Tamok know the name of the person committed the crime? How did Tamok know the name of the person committed the crime? How did Tamok know the name of the person committed the crime? How did Tamok know the name of the person committed the crime? 
through the sector office que les ordres venaient uh, de, des ordres de Tamoc, mais venaient par le bureau um, du secteur. Donc j'ai une question un peu générale. Comment, à l'époque où vous étiez au bureau de district, uh, saviez-vous que le district uh, recevait Tamoc, ces ordres de Tamoc uh, relating to persons to be arrested. sur le sujet des personnes à arrêter Could you please repeat your question? Yes, you, you question. testified to the oui. uh, investigators um, that uh, orders Vous avez dit aux uh, to arrest serious crime prisoners que... uh, came to the district from Tamak. Tamak donnait des ordres uh, d'arrêter you know ceux that? qui commettaient des crimes graves au bureau de district. Comment le saviez-vous? Réponse. Answer. I do not know about this particular issue. Je ne sais rien à ce sujet. Particularly in relation to these light and surtout sur cette serious question offenses. des crimes graves ou légers. Let me read to you question. another excerpt. Je vais um, vous citer un autre extrait de ce que vous avez dit aux enquêteurs. 8, 8, 7. La réponse est Nous avons parlé du fait que Tamok avait donné l'ordre de faire arrêter les personnes qui commettaient des crimes graves. Comment étiez-vous au courant de ces ordres Réponse. Tamok a donné l'ordre de faire arrêter les nouveaux prisonniers. Il donnait des ordres du secteur au district et du district à la commune. Et donc, moi, comme je travaillais au bureau du district, je le savais. Does that refresh your memory, Mr. Witness? Uh, what I'd like you to try and remember is how you knew that orders came from Tamak. Were there written orders that were delivered? Did you just hear people talking about instructions from Tamak? How did you know about this? Answer. 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 I do not know Je about this. Je ne sais rien <coughs> à ce sujet. I do not. I do not know how Tamok issued the order. Comment Tamok a donné cet ordre? You told us earlier this morning that Question. orders. From Tamak were sent by a messenger that worked for him named Tui. Were those written orders that this messenger delivered? Etais-ce des ordres que livrait ce messager? Answer. Sometimes uh, the messenger Tuj came by himself to deliver the orders, but on some other occasion he uh, did not come by himself. And when he came, who did he deliver the orders to? Question. Who did he give the orders to? À qui donnait-il les ordres? À qui les remettait-il? Witness, could you repeat your question, please? Yes, when, when Tuch came to the office, uh, who was it that he would give the orders to? Who would he deliver them to? Answer. The orders gave, were given to the district Secretary. Les ordres étaient remis au secrétaire de district. Uh, thank you. Uh, let's go back now Question. to Merci. the 
Revenons-en au sujet des événements que vous avez décrits ce matin, auprès de, de, du Conseil de la Défense et moi-même, c'est-à-dire cette période de quatre jours pendant laquelle nous avons transporté des gens dans votre procès verbal d'audition auprès des enquêteurs du bureau des co-juges d'instruction. Comme nous en avons parlé ce matin, les premières cinquante quelques pages de ce procès verbal, dans ces cinquante quelques pages, vous ne sembliez pas vous souvenir de grand-chose. Et à peu près à mi-chemin dans votre entretien, on vous a lu la déclaration de notre témoin, Paul Ekhun, qui travaillait lui aussi pour le district. Et on vous a posé des questions à ce sujet. Cela se retrouve dans le procès verbal d'audition, le 3 mars 1954, la réponse 454. Voilà ce que l'on vous a demandé. Question. On vous a lu cet extrait From testimony. de la déposition de Ohun. Question. Did you hear that Vietnamese nationals Avez-vous were arrested and sent to Krang to Chan? Answer. Des... It was imperative to sweep the Vietnamese clean from the villages de and from the country. Et de l'envoi de Vietnamiens à Krang to Chan. How many Vietnamese people de lived in Tram Kak district? Des villages du pays. Question. Combien Answer. de Vietnamiens y avait-il ici à Tram Kak dans le district? Tamak's Réponse. Young Lan, brother-in-law, qui était le was the one who collected beau-frère. all the Vietnamese people and took them to be killed. Cadet de Tamak était celui qui emmenait ces Lorne gens collected Vietnamese people from Ang Tsam, Leibou, Popel, and Srey Renong Communes. I do not know how many Vietnamese people there were in Tramcock District. I knew only that there were Vietnamese people in those four communes. Lorne told me that he used a large, long truck to transport 9,000 Vietnamese families from those four communes. Lorne told me that he used a large, long truck to transport 9,000 Vietnamese families from those four communes. And, end of quote. And after, Mr. Witness, after you were read this excerpt, you were asked by the investigator, "Did you do as has been read aloud to you during the Khmer Rouge regime?" Answer: Yes, I did. Question: Did you do as has been read aloud to you during the Khmer Rouge regime? And this was your response. Quote: As for transporting people, I did not know. Et votre réponse, pour ce qui est de transporter des gens, je ne sais pas. Les cadres de haut rang se sont servis de moi, je l'ai fait, ils se sont servis de moi, j'ai simplement obéi à ce qu'ils me demandaient. Donc, vous semblez vous souvenir Why is it that you remember this incident where you were involved in transporting people for four days? Why is it that you remember this incident where you were involved in transporting people for four days? I did answer you the question at the beginning concerning the transportation of the people to the commune. So I have told you already about this issue. And as for how many people I had transported, I had no idea. Quant au nombre de personnes que j'ai transportées, je n'en ai aucune idée. You said this morning that you delivered the people you picked up from each commune. Ce matin, vous avez dit que vous aviez emmené. When you delivered the people, did the district militia chief have other militia men? Quand vous avez emmené ces gens, le chef des milices était-il là par lui-même ou était-il accompagné d'autres miliciens Réponse, j'étais seul dans le camion. No, I wasn't asking about you. I was asking about the district militia chief. Did he have some of his subordinates 
de, 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 de ministre du district a décidé de certains de ses subordonnés avec lui, certains miliciens qui travaillaient pour lui, quand vous ameniez ces personnes. There was a messenger of the militia chief. Réponse, il... il y avait. L'interprète n'a pas saisi la réponse. And I asked you this morning about the name of the militia chief. Question. Je vous ai demandé uh, ce matin le nom du chef de milice. At the time. Do you remember a person named Yorn? S'en souvenez pas. Vous souvenez-vous d'un dénommé Yorn? Yorn. Answer. Réponse. Yorn. Yorn. No. No. I do not remember this person. Je ne me souviens pas de cette personne. Judge Lavin, you have the floor. Le juge Lavin a la parole, dit le président. Oui, je suis désolé. Est-ce que vous pourriez demander aux témoins yes, de répéter la réponse à sa précédente question parce qu'elle n'a pas été la réponse entière n'a pas été traduite euh, en answer to your dans le français. Because that answer was not translated in its entirety. La question était la suivante de savoir si le chef de la ministre du district était accompagné par d'autres miliciens et la réponse was accompagnée par d'autres miliciens. The answer given by the witness was not translated in its entirety. Now, thank you, Judge Lavern. Let me ask that again. Merci, Let me ask juge. it to you a, a different way. Um, when you transported uh, the people from the communes, Quand vous avez les gens um, des communes to the district militia, à la milice, uh, how many people from the district militia were there to receive the people you transported? recevoir ces gens que vous transportiez. Combien de miliciens y avait-il? Answer. Réponse. The militia chief was they were there to Le chef receive de milice était là uh, the people and uh, they were with uh, their groups a group of 10 un groupe de 10, 10 par exemple um, mr president at this time i'd like to uh, monsieur le président um, Present, ask the witness about a document Je from poser des Tram questions Croc, témoin a district. sur le sujet d'un document émanant du district de Tramcroc, E3-24-35-E3-24-35-E3-24-35-E3-24-35-E3-24-35-E3-24-35-E3-24-35-E3-24-35-E3-24-35-E3-24-35-E3-24-35-E3-24-35-E3-24-35-E3-24-35-E3
que ceux qui ont leur rang de premier ou premier lieutenant ou sous-lieutenant, je vais entrer en contact avec le camarade Yorn, militaire de district, pour les retirer ce soir tout de suite. Je vais vous poser une question à ce sujet, il y a une référence au camarade Yon, le militaire du district, au verso de ce document. Cela vous rafraîchit-il la mémoire sur qui était le chef de l'armée de district ou le chef des milices Vous vous souvenez-vous du camarade Yon Answer. I cannot recall it. Réponse. Je ne m'en souviens pas. I do not know whether that person was John or someone else. Je ne sais pas si il s'appelait John ou autre chose. Je l'ai vraiment oublié. Now this letter from Angstasom is dated 26 April 1977. There are in the for the next two weeks. There are reports from at least six communes that we have, in which lists of people in the commune were prepared. Six communes that we have, in which lists of people in the commune were prepared. Six communes that we have, in which lists of people in the commune were prepared. Six communes that we have, in which lists of people in the commune were prepared. Six communes that we have, in which lists of people in the commune were prepared. Six communes that we have, in which lists of people in the commune were prepared. Six communes that we have, in which lists of people in the commune were prepared. Six communes that we have, in which lists of people in the commune were prepared. Six communes that we have, in which lists of people in the commune were prepared. Six communes that we have, in which lists of people in the commune were prepared. Six communes that we have, in which lists of people in the commune were prepared. Six communes that we have, in which lists of people in the commune were prepared. Six communes that we have, in which lists of people in just refer you to a few of these. You testified earlier that you went to Ang to some commune. A document E3-2049 and E3-4082 constitute a list from Ang to some commune dated 30 April 1977, identifying 26 American Prom families. You said that you went un certain nombre de familles qui m'apprennent. Vous avez dit que vous avez récupéré des gens à Popol. E3-22-62 est une copie partielle d'une liste identifiant 64 familles qui m'apprennent de cette commune. Vous avez aussi parlé de la commune de Kouk. Nous avons un rapport en date du 29 avril 1977 de cette commune, document E3-24-38, dans ce document, on identifie 35 familles Khmer Krom. Vous avez aussi mentionné Sre Ronong, et nous avons une liste en date du 27 avril 1977 de cette commune, une liste de 37 familles dans cette commune, E3-40083. Monsieur le témoin, je vous pose la question, et ce pour deux raisons. Tout d'abord, le date de ces listes, des documents que je vous ai remis, et du document que je vais vous remettre, sont d'avril à mai 1977. Does this refresh your memory at all about the time period in which you were involved in transporting people from communes to the district militia chief? Depuis les communes vers le chef des milices du district. Est-il possible que cela ait eu lieu en avril ou mai 1977? Je m'oppose à la question, Monsieur le Président. C'est tout à fait orienté de présenter des documents de cette fonction, des documents qu'ignore complètement le témoin, de les lui lire, pour ensuite essayer de mettre les mots dans sa bouche qu'il s'agit en fait qu'il y a une correspondance avec les quatre jours pendant lesquels il a participé au transport de gens. Il n'a pas parlé de Khmer Krom, il a simplement parlé de gens. Je m'oppose donc à la question, car elle suggère la réponse. 
Fortement. Monsieur le Monsieur le Président, nous avons posé des questions ouvertes, soit témoin, soit réticent à répondre, ou de la difficulté à se souvenir. Et voici donc des preuves documentaires, des listes de personnes dans les communes dont il a déposé qu'il a transporté des gens. Il est tout à fait approprié de lui demander s'il existe une correspondance entre les dates et une correspondance avec le nombre de familles qui ont été transportées. President, the objection put by the Defense Council for Mr. Nunji Cooper is overruled. And de la de Mr. Cooper. there was a, an open question the first la to the witness, premier, after which the co prosecutor uh, sought a clarification on the, basis of, of, on the basis of the document in the case file. Mr. Witness, please uh, respond to the question if you can still remember it. And if not, you can ask the co-prosecutor to put the question again. President, can you still recall the question, Mr. Guinness? Deputy Co-Prosecutor, please uh, reformulate your question. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, the, the Merci, documents Monsieur I've just Monsieur le témoin, referenced to you are lists from various communes, including the communes that you have indicated you went to to pick up people. You have indicated you went to pick up people. You have indicated you went to pick up people. You have indicated you went to pick up people. You have indicated you went to pick up people. You have indicated you went to pick up people. You have indicated you went to pick up of these lists correspond to April or May 1977. So my first question is, uh, do you remember um, whether it was April or May 1977 when you received this assignment to people from the various communes? Again, uh, Mr. President, very leading question. Encore une fois, la question uh, and I would like to remind the prosecution that, that uh, he, uh, the witness gave, himself, uh, he gave testimony himself this morning saying uh, that he believed it was in the beginning of the regime, of the uh, regime the meaning May, ce qui signifierait uh, April May 1975. So now, even going further, suggesting the date uh, is again a very leading question. C'est orienté. It's not a leading question. The dates come from documents and evidence. They're not my words. And second of all, yes, but the witness has indicated confusion about years. He also testified it was 1975 when he was sent to Batam Khan originally. So we're entitled to ask him about this evidence and see if it helps him remember. The prosecution has a theory. President, the chamber already ruled on the objection, and this is, you know, a previous issue a previous issue that the chamber ruled upon already, so you can proceed with your questioning. Co-prosecutor. President, what is in your mind? Mr. Kong Somon. Kong Somon. I am not objecting, but I would like the co-prosecutor to identify clearly the uh, identity of the document and also the date uh, which the co-prosecutor made mention. I did, but let me repeat, repeat it um, uh, for you, counsel. Um, 
E3 slash 2049 and E3 slash 4082 uh, is the list, the 30 April 1970, 1977 list from Angtasam commune. Um, E3 slash 2262 is the list from Porpel commune. E3 slash 2438 is the list from Pouss commune, dated 29 April 1977. E3 slash 4083 is the list from Srey Ronong commune, dated 27 April 1977. My question, Mr. Witness, um, having heard of these documents, does that help après Your avoir memory entendu parler as to de ces documents, est-ce que cela vous rafraîchit la mémoire et vous aide à vous souvenir du moment où vous avez été appelé à collecter et ramasser les gens dans ces communes Regarding the assignment en ce qui concerne la to transport uh, the people, qui consistait à transporter des gens, I forget it all. Vous tout oublié. I cannot recall when the, the transportation Je pas took me place. Du moment où I le cannot recall the date, the month, and the mois, year. Ni de I am not telling lies, uh, but it is the fact that I do not recall the date. C'est simplement que je ne me souviens pas de la date. C'est un fait. Do you know Question. what happened to the people um, who you transported uh, to? The Savez district militia chief. Do you know what happened to them after you uh, transported the people? Uh, did you ever déposé? see them again? I never saw those people again. No, I did not. Well, thank you. Let me uh, turn to one last uh, subject um, that uh, the council asked you about this morning. Um, that is the subject of uh, the treatment of law and soldiers and officials in your district. Um, do you remember a pagoda in Tramcock called Wat Champa? Did you did you know Wat Champa? President, witness, uh, San Lon, please uh, respond to the Monsieur question. Le Actually, la question. you spoke uh, before the uh, microphone, microphone was operational. And court officer, please move the Monsieur microphone le closer le to the uh, witness. Please uh, repeat your question. Did you know a pagoda in Tramcock district called Wat Champa Luke? 
Connaissez-vous une pagode dans votre district qui, dans ce district qui s'appelait Wat Champa Le No, I uh, did not know that a pagoda. Réponse non, je ne connaissais pas cette pagoda. I'd like to uh, ask you about uh, another um, statement from the same witness who had uh, testified about your uh, transportation of uh, the Vietnamese families. Um, this is the cadre Ol Hoon, who uh, also worked for the district. In his uh, OCIJ interview E3-9582, uh, answer 113, question. What do you know about the killing of soldiers, families of Lon Nol soldiers and soldiers and Council Copper, do you have the floor? I object to the word cadre uh, in relation to Okun. Um, he himself said um, in court that he is, quote unquote, just a villager. And in his um, WRI E3-9594 um, answer 16, he said, um, I was not allowed to hold any position. Um, they accused me of having tendencies. Um, uh, they did not use me because I was alleged to have political tendencies. So to call him a cadre is uh, misrepresenting his position. Uh, Mr. President, I'll, I'll rephrase. Bolhun testified he worked for the district office, but that, uh, we can, that's an argument we can have another day. Bolhun, a person from Tram Kok district, uh, testified as follows in his OCIJ statement. E3 slash 9582, answer 113. Question. What do you know Question. about the killing of soldiers, families of law and all soldiers, and civilians in Takao province? Answer. At that time, the Khmer Rouge announced their victory. Phnom Penh is defeated. After that, people were evacuated from Phnom Penh to Wat Champa Loop Pagoda located three kilometers on the west of Ang Tassam, Tram Kok District. For seven days, the Khmer Rouge made propaganda that they were seeking soldiers with rank to register their names. Having rounded up these people, they took them away. This was their common practice. Hundreds and thousands of people were taken away. Having taken all those soldiers with rank, for example, second and first lieutenants, only ordinary people remained. End of quote. Does that refresh your memory at all, uh, Mr. Witness? Monsieur Do you remember uh, any of the events that took place at Wat Champa uh, following Wat the 17th of April, 1975? Mr. President, I object to this question. Monsieur le Président, um, you might recall, I will not go into um, many details Je because I'm referring to um, closed session of last week, uh, that I was um, almost permanently interrupted by this um, prosecutor because I wasn't um, given the full body of evidence uh, to the witness. So I will now do the same um, to this prosecution in relation to this particular witness. Um, he should add that uh, three um, people who were in fact cadres in sector 35, 13 and 25 all said that um, one all official uh, soldiers as of uh, all the way up to um, uh, colonel and uh, second lieutenant were, were not to be harmed or were not to be touched. Uh, Mr. President, he's already asked the witness about that. Uh, I've agreed he can ask follow-up questions. He's not even making a reference to the same witness. He's not saying I'm uh, misreading Et this witness's testimony, um, I'm entitled to the reaction of what this witness témoin, has, tout à has said. Droit de savoir, uh, est la du par à ce que cet autre témoin a dit.
And for that reason, it is not uh, advisable for you to instruct other parties how to use the uh, questions put to the uh, witness as to serve uh, different interests. Thank you, Mr. President. Des uns et des Mr. Witness, does this refresh your memory? Do you remember people being gathered at Wat Champa? Pagoda and Law No people being separated and taken away. I was not aware of that. I um, showed you some docu a document relating to the listing of Khmer Krom or Yuan Vietnamese people in April 1977. Um, Mr. President, with your leave, I'd like to um, show the witness two uh, Tram Kok doc documents um, relating to Law No uh, people. Uh, this is document. Pardon me. Uh, E3 slash 2048, E3 slash 2048, and specifically there is a uh, 30 April 1977 uh, report from Chiang Torn Commune and a 28 April 1977 report from Tapem Commune. Um, with your leave, if I may present these to the witness. Yes, you may proceed. Mr. Witness, you've been handed uh, two documents. Um, the first uh, is a Monsieur report témoin, from Chiang Torn Commune dated 30 April 1977. For the record, this is E3 slash 2048, uh, Khmer ERN 000 uh, English 0027652562. French 00611659. And in this report to the district, uh, the commune, Chiang Tong commune, states, I quote, after having received Après successive instructions from Ankar about being vigilant about the enemy and purging the enemy officers, we have tracked, examined, and found the following persons. And then there are two, uh, uh, two former members of the regime identified, a second lieutenant and someone who was in the social development ministry. Uh, the second document, which is two pages later, ERN Wise in E3 2048, is a 28 April 1977 report from Tapem Commune, uh, which states, we in the Tapem subdistrict cooperative base branch have examined and purged the enemies who held ranks after having received the instructions of the party. Having closely examined this, we say there are still six more with officer and official ranks. And then there are six people identified who were first or second lieutenants. My question uh, first, Mr. Witness, does this 
refresh your memory question, uh, in the same time period that uh, of the Khmer Krom lists that I asked you about. Uh, do you remember communes being asked by the district uh, to identify and arrest former Law Null soldiers who held ranking positions? I was not aware of this matter. I did not know anything about that. Do you know whether any of the people that you picked up in the communes and transported to the district militia chief. Do you know whether any of them were people related or connected to the former, law, the former regime, the Law Null regime? I did not know. I thank you, Mr. President. My colleague just has a couple of questions. The, the civil parties informed us that they, they have no questions so that we can use the remaining time on our side. National Deputy uh, Co-Prosecutor, good afternoon, Mr. President, good afternoon, Your Honours, and good afternoon, uh, witness. My name is Sain Lien. I am the National Deputy Co-Prosecutor. In the interest of time, I will only put a few questions to you. From what I heard this morning in your response to Councilor Copper, you stated that you were village chief of Prokip from 71 to 72. Is that correct? Answer yes, that is correct. Question. Can you tell the chamber? During 1971 and 72, was Prokip village under the control of the Khmer Rouge or was it under the control of the Liberation Force? Answer. At that time, we were living under the control of the Khmer Rouge. Question. Who actually appointed you to the position of the village chief? I was appointed a village chief by the uh, commune. Question. Question. And can you tell the chamber how many uh, residents in your village at the time? Answer. In the village, there were about 150 families living there. Question. 
and amongst all the Question. villagers in the village, were there any uh, Vietnamese people? Or in short, were there any Vietnamese living in your area? In terms of in the village, commune, or district. Dans votre village, dans votre commune, ou dans votre district. And so, I was not sure. I uh, did not have a full grasp of the situation. Réponse, je ne suis pas certain d'avoir eu un tableau Question. complet de la situation. During your tenure as the village chief. Were you instructed by the Khmer Rouge to run after the Vietnamese? Vous ont demandé d'arrêter les Vietnamiens. No, there was no uh, gathering de of uh, Vietnamese people. Non, it did Vietnamien. not reach that stage yet. Ça n'était pas, ça n'avait pas encore atteint ce stade-là. Question. So, subsequently, was there any uh, instruction for the rounding up for the rounding up of the Vietnamese? consistant à rassembler tous les Vietnamiens? Answer: It happened in 1975. Réponse: C'est arrivé en 1975. I was instructed to uh, transport those Vietnamese people. Les Vietnamiens. And that's uh, there was a time that I realized Et about the Vietnamese. Que réalisé Question. So was it the uh, Khmer Rouge policy for the uh, running up of the Vietnamese? That is, it happened in 1975. Des Khmer Rouge. Yes, that is correct. Réponse, oui, exact. Question. Question. Mr. Uh, witness, this morning in your Monsieur response to Defense Council Copper, you stated that at one point uh, you were a messenger for the commune, and later on you became a messenger for the district. Am I correct? President, witness, please Monsieur observe the uh, microphone. Witness. I agree that I became a messenger for the district. Je suis d'accord, je suis question. messager pour le district. My question to you is about the time frame that you had been a commune messenger and later on appointed a district messenger. And if that is the case, can you tell the chamber uh, the time that uh, you were a messenger for the commune and the name of that the commune, please? Pour la commune et pour quelle commune? Quel est le nom de la commune pour laquelle vous avez été messager? Answer. Réponse. No, I never uh, worked as a messenger for any level, rather than at the district level. Co-prosecutor, uh, Mr. President, in, in the interest of time, I'd like now to uh, finish uh, my questioning. President, before I hand the floor to the Defense Council, I'd like to hand the floor first to Judge Laverne. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. I have a, a very a short question for the witness. Witness, this morning you spoke about a so-named P who was working at the district level and who was in charge of the re-education office. So can you tell us if this P um, had specific physical features, and in particular, was he somebody uh, who limped? Ma. Yes, uh, he limped. Oui, il boitait. La deuxième question que j'aimerais vous poser, c'est like par to rapport aux conditions dans lesquelles les personnes étaient transportées. Uh, vous uh, pouvez-vous nous dire si les personnes qui étaient dans les camions étaient uh, trucks, uh, menottées, si elles avaient uh, um, les mains attachées if ou s'ils si avaient tied, des... Uh, or if there was anything special about the way they were being transported. 
Regarding the transportation of those uh, people, they were not handcuffed uh, nor tied. They were instructed uh, to board uh, the vehicles. Je comprends qu'il y avait des listes that qui étaient lists des listes de personnes up, à transporter. Est-ce que vous-même, vous, so you vous yourself, aviez en main uh, des listes qui vous étaient remises par le district Des listes qui vous étaient remises par le district. President, a witness, please hold on, and Council and Kouché, do you have the floor? I know that I cannot euh, object to the questions donc, put question, by je, je bench, bench, but I do have a question, however, I didn't really understand where this notion of list de, came from. Um, I heard about lists uh, de le mais je pas uh, uh, when the co-prosecutor uh, examined uh, the witness, but I didn't hear the witness uh, speak about lists, so I don't know if uh, Judge Lafer is referring to a specific document that I was not apprised of or that I didn't catch from the witness's testimony. So aside from the co-prosecutor, nobody spoke about lists. Yeah. Effectivement, well, je indeed, me uh, I'm referring to the same document that the co-prosecutor was referring to, which apparently described the existence of lists, si and I was asking the witness if he himself uh, had received lists from the district. No, I did not receive any list. Non, je n'ai reçu aucune liste. There were other individuals who were uh, responsible for that. Il y avait d'autres individus qui étaient responsables de cela. In fact, uh, there were people at en the fait, district office who were in charge of that affair, and I myself uh, was not aware of that. My uh, task at the time was uh, to transport those people. Vous avez dit que à l'arrivée, il y avait le chef de la milice, on et il pouvait y avoir, si j'ai bien entendu, par exemple, 10 miliciens. Alors, est-ce qu'il peut être 10 miliciens Est-ce que c'était plus de 10 miliciens Et est-ce que ces miliciens étaient armés Ou plus de 10 miliciens Et ils étaient armés I cannot recall if there were any. Je ne me souviens pas s'il y en avait. Et dans votre souvenir, quand vous alliez dans les communes, est-ce qu'il y avait des miliciens des communes qui étaient présents au moment de l'embarquement des personnes transportées? Commune militia men present when the persons transported were put on board the trucks. No, there wasn't. I didn't non. see any. Non, je n'en ai pas vu. I only saw the commune chief who were je calling them to board the vehicle. qui leur demandait de monter à bord du véhicule. Et qu'est-ce que leur disaient les chefs de commune? And what did the commune chiefs tell them? Uh, Answer. They were told that they would be sent back to their home country, Vietnam. On leur disait dans leur pays d'origine, le Vietnam. Et ces gens, est-ce qu'ils avaient leurs affaires personnelles avec eux And did those people have their personal effects with them Answer. They had their own personal belongings, clothes, Ils leurs cooking utensils uh, with them. Par exemple, les vêtements, les ustensiles de cuisine. 
Est-ce que vous avez vu ces personnes parler entre elles Est-ce que vous les avez entendues parler entre elles Did you see those people speak with one another? My answer, no. I could not hear them speaking. Non, je ne pouvais pas les entendre parler. Avez-vous été témoin d'incidents au moment où les gens devaient Did monter dans les camions? Did you witness any incidents at the time when the people had to board the trucks? Answer, no. Non. I did not notice any incidents happening. Je n'ai pas remarqué d'incidents. Est-ce que vous avez vu certaines personnes résister? Did you see any persons resisting? Answer, no. I did not. Non. Quand vous les avez amenés au bureau du district, est-ce que vous avez vu d'autres camions? To the district prêt à les conduire ailleurs. Did you see any other trucks ready to transport them elsewhere? Not occurred. Answer. No. Non plus. There was only one uh, truck un seul camion. that I used. Mon camion. No Celui dont je me other trucks were visible. Il n'y avait pas d'autres camions. After I dropped them off, Quand je I les ai returned. Déposé. Je suis rentré. Avez-vous vu ces personnes être conduites à un endroit particulier? Did you see those persons being led to a particular location? I have no idea. Je n'en ai aucune idée. As I said, after I had dropped them off, dit, après les avoir déposés, I returned to my location. Rentré, so I have no idea about what was going je next. Je ne savais pas ce qui allait se passer par la suite. Eh bien, compte tenu des contraintes de temps, je ne vais pas poser Very davantage well. de questions. Given the time constraints, Merci, I won't put any further questions to the witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Ah, on President. President. Thank you. Merci. You have the floor now, Maître Guisset, vous avez la parole. Oui, Monsieur le Président, je voulais euh, yes. vous prévenir que, euh, si cela vous convient, President. nous avons convenu avec euh, mon confrère Victor uh, Copé que you don't je mind, commencerai à poser mes questions pour être sûr de pouvoir poser toutes mes questions avant qu'il prenne le temps supplémentaire qu'il restera. Je vais poser les questions après qu'il aurait pris le temps additionnel qu'il voudrait avoir pour poser les questions à witness. So I'll put my questions to witness after him. Apparemment, euh, je, je recommence. Apparemment, il y a eu une, une erreur de traduction en, en anglais. Euh, J'indique que je vais English. commencer à poser les questions et que mon confrère Copé terminera witness, pour le temps qu'il reste à la défense. Now it is Merci. time for uh, the short break. The chamber will take a short break from now Nous until 10 to 3. Court officers, please assist uh, the witness in the waiting room Huissier during the break time and please invite uh, him back into the courtroom at 10 to 3. The court is now in recess. Suspension.